Okay, boys, we are in it to win it. The mi the, so the mics are hot. Don't say anything. We are live. We are we are live. We're gonna wait for some more people to come into the stream here, and then we're gonna get our show started for today because it's gonna be a good one, folks. I love the music. I love the tune. You like that, dude? The instrumentals. I. Do. I, do. I it's, awesome. it's a. It's a. You know, it's a good like. All right, hey, we're getting ready. You got to do the instrumentals because they'll get you if you uh, start throwing the lyrics in there. You'll start getting copyright violations and laws and all that. <laughs> it's just nasty. It's just nasty. Uh. Check, 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 check. Is this, on my... is this thing on? Go to your, go to your newsfeed. Oh, there, there it is. There you go. Okay, sharing it. Check, 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 check. Is this, is this thing on? <laughs> go, to your, go to your newsfeed. Oh, there, there you go. We good to go? We all shared? I'm ready. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today on Lawn Doctor Live, where every Friday, every Thank week, so we come to you. Oh, for sorry, guys. Us today yeah, we got to turn that down. I'm just kidding. Turn, let's turn it off. Can we mute it? Where every Friday, every week, no, turn it we off. come to you. Okay. <laughs> Technology these days. We're, we're, we're working through the cakes and we're making it good, but we're coming to you and we're bringing tremendous value, which is why we come to you every week and do this show. Every week we come to you with a new topic that involves your lawn, your landscape, everything outside of your home, and what it means to have a beautiful, aesthetically lovely property. And today I have two awesome guests here. I'm so happy that you guys joined me. For our fourth episode of Lawn Doctor Live. Yes. This is a very new thing. Thank you so much for being here today. This is going to be a great episode. Really appreciate it. Two, two superstar rock stars in the real estate space. If you guys don't know them, uh, make sure you follow them uh, on Facebook. Jackson Proper. Ja we got Jackson Properties and then uh, Fritz Ball here. Fritz Ball, Keller Williams, GR. So they agreed to be on my show today. I had to drag them in here, you know, basically <laughs> handcuff them to bring them in. And we, uh, we got them here in the office, and it's going to be a great time. So we really have an awesome topic for you today. It's called How to Get an Above Average Landscape. And question mark, why would you want that? Why would you want an above average landscape? And what does that mean for your home, your property value, and your status in the neighborhood? You know, everybody wants that, that green, thick, weed-free lawn. Everybody wants to be the top dog, right? So what does that mean exactly? If you could like and share the stream, I'd really appreciate it. My family would appreciate it. We, we would, too. I would greatly appreciate it. It would be fantastic. Tyler and Fritz would love to appreciate all that. If you could like and share the stream, <laughs> we would really appreciate it. looks like we got 11 viewers on the stream today. Really hey. appreciate it. Please be sure to uh, message us or comment with any questions as we are coming to you live here mm. as, as we move along. So why do we do this show? It, it came cooked up in my brain. I said, you know, what can we do to bring tremendous value to our customers and people that don't know us? And so came Lawn Doctor Live. So every week we bring you a show and how to keep your lawn green, thick, and weed free and everything that involves your lawn and landscape. So if you could like and share the stream, I'd really appreciate it. Like I said, today we have Tyler Jackson, Keller Williams Realty, mm -hmm. yep. Keller Williams. and Fritz Ball, Keller Williams Realty, in the house. <laughs> I think Same. Tyler really wants to yell something. So, well, guys, we got to get the energy up, so sometimes I like to yell words, and I share this with people. So what, should we say grass really loud on three? One, two, three. Grass! <laughs> Not Good. ass, grass. Grass. <laughs> Gets the energy so, up. So with that being said, we're all jacked up here. And today we're just going to go into it today. We have some great questions. And there's a reason why I had mm. these, these super special guests in here to kind of talk about what it means um, from a home value perspective to have a green, thick, weed-free lawn. 
Um, and we have some nice questions prepared. And uh, we'll start it off there. So, you know, with with what you guys do, what have you guys noticed about uh, homes that have green, thick, weed-free lawns? Does it does it raise the home value of, of, of the houses? Tyler, can you tell us a little bit about your experiences yeah, with that? Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it's a psychological thing, I think, with buyers is when they're going to a home, they want to see a lawn that's already taken care of. It has pride and ownership. Um, it, it's less maintenance. And, and one thing, too, to consider is I see this with people who own lawns, and it's not just lawns, it's um, landscaping as well. I'll see people where they just have these very elaborate, uh, extravagant landscapings in their front yard or their backyard. And I think sometimes that, that can actually hurt you, um, opposed to help. So there's a certain balance between having a really nice manicured lawn and then also having a a yard that's just kind of over cluttered with either rocks or flowers or whatever. Because at the end of the day, people, from what I've observed, is they're busy and they're not. They don't want to take care of a a lawn that's very elaborate. Would you agree with that? I totally agree, one hundred percent. And uh, you know, if, if if you can pay someone to take care of your lawn and have a green, thick, weed-free grass, I mean, why not give Kendall a call? That's great that you bring that up, Fritz, because we do have something for that. We have the best program to keep your lawn green, thick, weed free. Two applications in the spring, two in the summer, and two in the fall. Everything your lawn needs to be green, thick, and weed free. So if you're buying a home, selling a home, or even if you're in an apartment, hey, give me give me an introduction to your parents who have a house, and I want to make that thing green, and I want to make it thick, and I want to make it weed free. Making lawns great again. We hashtag make lawns making great lawn, make lawn make lawns, lawns great, great again. again. Boom. See. <laughs> there you go, without a doubt, to it. Uh, looks like we have some comments on the thread. Ryan Rabel, Triple R Lawn and Landscape, shout out to you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the love, and especially thanks for the shares. Moving on to our second topic. You know, how important in the selling process, the buying process, is curb appeal? Is it, is, does curb appeal, you know, is it overrated? Am I just, am I just talking out of my butt here? Shake my hand. How'd that feel? Felt like a noodle. It was bad, wasn't it? <laughs> it, was a, it was a little... It was shake a, my hand. Whoa. That's a grip. That's a grip. Okay, shake my hand one more time. Bam. That's nice and that's soft. That's good. That's so, good. There's, it's a first impression. Your lawn is the first impression into your house. And so if you're walking up to a house and it's just kind of a sloppy noodle of a lawn, <laughs> it's, it's got a bad feel. It's got a bad feel already going in. And then if you go in and it's harsh, I mean, there's, there's right. tree branches everywhere, weeds, or maybe it's you got the jubilee of lawn ornaments and flowers. Um, another bad feel, too, I think it can turn buyers off. Again, it goes back to that maintenance factor. People don't want to necessarily spend two hours on a Saturday taking care of the lawn. So um, when, when you're going into a lawn... It, and going into a house, the first impression of the lawn, you want to have it a solid impression that it's well manicured, but that it's not going to take too much of your time up. I mean, on curb appeal, you know, there's it's it's been said time and time again, buyers make up the decision on the house that they're going to buy within the fi first 15 to 30 seconds of being at the home, not even getting inside the home. So, you know, one of the first things you see when you're coming up to a house, and it's kind of getting into, you know, recommendations and stuff that would right. make curb appeal better. Obviously, the first thing you're going to see when you go to somebody's house is their mailbox. You're looking for the mailbox to find the house, right? Right. So make sure you've got a nice new mailbox if you can. If you got a metal one, paint it. Um, you know, maybe a bright color that stands out. <clears throat> uh, put some fresh numbers on it. Make sure the numbers match your house. So when they pull up, they see the nice new mailbox. They're like, they automatically have a great first impression with a nice new mailbox. You know, next thing, wash the outside of the house. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to a house covered in dirt, mold, grime, what grass. It's just, uh, it's just unprofessional looking and doesn't doesn't look good. What would you say a, a mailbox costs? Um, you can get really cheap mailboxes anywhere from like twenty to fifty dollars. Um, there's also crazy extravagant mailboxes that for like two to three hundred dollars. Um, I wouldn't spend a ton of money on a new mailbox, but I would definitely do something, especially if you have you know an old mailbox that's kind of an eyesore. So what is what is getting a lawn up to shape cost? 
you know, average average value, average sales around four hundred and fifty dollars, uh, but the perceived value is thousands. Let me tell you that. Yeah, and yeah, <clears throat> I mean, with you know, kind of getting into that, it's when you, when you first come up to a home, the first thing you see is the overall picture. So you see the mailbox, you pull in the driveway. The, the first thing you see is the overall picture. So if you if the house is washed or painted, if it's an older house, you know. Don't worry about scraping the whole house. Just paint that sucker and make it look pretty. Um, you know, you can add shutters or trim or whatever, but the next thing is kind of, you're kind of going from like the top down, right? You pull into the driveway, you're looking at the house as a whole, and then you get down to the bottom and you get to the, the grass, the yard, the landscaping. And right now, this time of year, it's probably not very pretty, but there is a couple things you can do in the wintertime <laughs> to make it look a little bit better. But, <clears throat> you know, spring, summertime, you definitely want your grass to look great. You know, I tell people, I tell sellers, hey, you know, if there's a showing, make sure you can mow your lawn before. If you can't, edging. the, the edging night before, yeah. edging, you know, um, fresh mulch. Um, and that's a really cheap yeah, thing yeah. to do. I mean, you, you re-mulch a flower bed. Stuff, you can yeah. do all that stuff yourself, too. You know? Right. Those are little things that probably make a big impact in the selling, in, in the speed of the sale, right? But then also the price that you guys get for the houses, oh, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, that's big. So, I mean, if you can... If you can have fresh mulch, some fresh shrubs or some fresh prunes, you know, pretty colorful flowers and a nice green yard that's freshly mowed, I mean, right there is huge. So from huge. A, so, so from a buying perspective, if, if you guys are bringing bu buyers up to a house and you guys are seeing weeds in the lawn, landscapes not maintained, you know, does that, does that lead to indicators and, and kind of red lights going off in your head saying, should we need to check out the roof? We need to look at water pressure now because... Uh, the lawn is a big indicator of the quality of some other things that might be wrong with the house too. Well, th things tend to follow suit in a sense. If the lawn's not taken care of, you could say you could the, deduce the, the right? inside of the house might not be as taken care of either. And so, um, t if you're taking care of your lawn, some of the easy, I mean, when you're when you're getting your home ready for a sale, I, I call it go for the uh, high value, low cost things and so um, the main thing is going to be decluttering your home getting it really just bare minimums and then paint and carpet and then on the outside you can take care of your lawn if the investment's about four or five hundred bucks would you say right, that's right? you yeah. can have a pretty absolutely pretty good looking lawn mm -hmm. I would dare say that's going to pay off multiple <clears throat> times the inside of the house you're going to only spend you're going to spend on paint maybe a thousand or two and then on carpet I, I think you would be able to get a very nice return on it i i even remember a, a personal example i helped um a, my family sell a house in belding and i had comped the house out at about ninety five thousand. i gave them a list of things to do they went a little over and above um which was great but they spent 10 to 12 grand i comped the house at ninety five thousand. they put in a new garage door, which was a thousand, and then appliances, which I think were another thousand, and then they painted new carpet and did some uh, backsplash stuff and uh, what, uh, what countertops. We ended up selling it for a hundred and forty-three, and I think three thousand of that was wow. uh, closing costs. So they took it from ninety-five to one forty, and they all, they invested. <clears throat> roughly 10 to 12 grand into it. So wow. the, the amount of return you can get doing that is, is an incredible to me. So those are the low hanging fruit you right. have. So, so those little tweaks that make the biggest, biggest impact. Yeah. Really it's, I call again, it's, I call them high value, low cost, high value, low cost. I'm going to have to write that down here. I could put it in a quadrant too. <laughs> but I, I don't have my. He forgot the whiteboard he today. Forgot the whiteboard. Folks. So, forgot the work. So, we'll be on the next episode. But, I promise. But with you. that, so these people put twelve grand into their house and made them thirty-six thousand more dollars. In a sense, yeah. So you basically multiply money for a living. Is that what you're saying? I help people when they're getting their house ready. I help them to get and maximize their their return. That's why you hire an agent. It's not just to throw your house on the market. It's to help you prep for that right. so you can get the best return. See, I was wondering about that. I was like, well, why don't I just list a house for sale myself? Or why can't I'm a pretty good negotiator, I feel like. I don't know, I might be wrong, but 
why don't I just go in and negotiate for myself, right? So what, what kind of benefits do I get from having a, a real estate agent that... Well, you, you, someone's going to handle the sale. Homes are um, tricky. It's not just the A, B, uh, C type transaction. It can be an A, C, F, G. There's all these different inputs and things you got to work with title companies. The other big thing you're going to be dealing with too is emotions and a lot of people don't understand how emotions can really impact uh, a home sale. So you might really think your house is just lovely. You've lived there for 25 years. You've put your you know, sweat and blood into the house fixing it and maintaining it. Right. Styles change. If, if you're not necessarily with the style or maybe you got too much stuff in there it, it can really affect your home price. And as an agent, that's where I come in, and I, and I say it gently. Um, I say it gently. I give the example, I had a boxing coach, love this guy, who was not so gentle with me in some of his critiques. But uh -oh. I always knew that what he was telling me was for my betterment. And so what I tell people is I'm not going to be harsh, but don't take anything I say personally. I'm, I'm here to get you the best price for your home. You're there to, to help. better you. Yeah. Would you agree with that? I just want to help. You, wanna... you don't know what you don't know. And if you don't know something, that means you're not going to get something. So Use make sure. Professional. Make sure, with, with, with whatever you do, right? There's a reason why they sell homes <clears throat> and are buyer's representatives. And there's a reason why there's a lawn care company who specializes in the chemical aspect of the lawns because it's what we do, it's what we feed our families with. And we do this every day. We eat, sleep, and breathe it. Um, and I would say I love doing what I do. Yeah, I'm sure you guys, I like, you guys I, love doing what I you do. I enjoy what I, see. what I do as well. <clears throat> you know? I love it very much so. You know, And, I mean, it goes, like, if I was trying to make my lawn beautiful so that I could sell my own house, I, I have no clue. I, don't, I know nothing about grass. I know nothing about the chemicals, fertilizers that it needs. So, one, I'm going to consult a professional, and, two, I'm going to probably let them do the job, especially for I, the – the very reasonable price that they they charge to do the services that they do. I know you're not supposed to play in the grass when it's been fertilized. Right, right. right. Typically recommended to stay off for a couple hours. Oh, and I almost forgot. If if you're on the stream today, make sure you text green grass to two four five eight seven. Again, text green grass to two four five eight seven. If you need an instant quote, you'll get a text message quote from us. And, Bam. Uh, you can get the greenest, thickest weed-free lawn in Grand Rapids with that. Man, I love this. I love getting I love getting information from the source, from boots on the ground that are actually doing the work out there today. With that being said, how's the current real estate market? Is that hot? I know Grand Rapids is kind of in a in a bubble, right? We have like oh, this weird deal going on that's here. That's sick. Yeah. What's, what did you hear the garage stat? It's, there's about is it there's 12? less there's less than two months worth of inventory on the market right now. Is that what you were looking for? I was I thought there was the twelve buyers for every one home. That is true as well. I heard that yeah. one as well. It's, uh, I'd have to verify it, but it's it it's, feels like it. It's crazy. I have I have multiple buyers that I'm working with right now in different areas of Grand Rapids, whether it's Kentwood, Lowell, Forest Hills, um, Belding, Saranac, Ionia, and it's just it's you can't find a house and the houses that you do find they come and go so quick that you know a lot of times people get beat out well, on that's their why offers you need a professional. yeah and i mean you know for you guys if you want to kind of get into the meat a little bit you know if you guys are out there looking on zillow and stuff typically it takes 24 to 48 hours for zillow to update house could be gone yeah for zillow to update when you know we get notifications immediately as soon as the house is listed you know and by the time that you guys see it on zillow trulia realtor.com It'll be gone already. So that's another reason why you have a real estate agent to monitor those trends, the market. What's what's the current inventory right now? Is it is it is it you know how, how fast? Literally, can we uh, get some stories about how fast homes are selling from the boots on the ground? Uh, well, yeah, they're you if they're priced right, marketed well, and they're sharp looking homes. I would say you got to be in there ASAP. I mean, they're selling within a week. You know, if you can hit looking good, uh, priced right, great marketing. Yeah, I mean, for sure. With like, if you're not in the house within 24 hours and it's it's a great house in a great location, you got to automatically think, okay, this house. I love this house. I love the curb appeal. I love the pictures inside. The grass is beautiful. 
you know, everything is just, it's almost too good to be true. You got to think that there's probably 20 or 30 other people out there thinking the same exact thing. So if you're not in there immediately right away submitting your best offer that you can, it's, it's going to be gone. And uh, I mean, to go back to your question on the inventory, like I said, there's less than two months worth of inventory in the market right now. And to kind of put that into perspective, I think about a year ago, was it about 16,000 houses? In oh, yeah, Colorado? yeah. And I want to say October, about 16,000 homes. And what I've been seeing is this, this period right now is when you see home values go up. Um, I had a home. I sold it. Uh, we sold it. I think it was November. We were supposed to close in December. Had a crazy situation with um, the buyers backing out, and the deal <laughs> fell through. Um, I remember calling my sellers and saying, ah, you know, we the deal did not go through, but let's we got a game plan. We'll get it relisted in January. Uh, we re relisted in January, and we got a better offer oh, wow. on it. Um, and so it, it just shows that I think this is the time when home values are going up. Okay. It's simply because there's... When we first had it listed, there was many more thousands of homes available, and now it's half half the inventory. We're, we went from about sixteen thousand to eight thousand. So, wow. Yeah. How about interest rates? Where are those at right now? Roughly four percent. Roughly four percent. So great time to buy, and uh, well, if if you can find a house, right? If, yeah. Exactly. If if, 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 if if you can find a house, it's a good time to buy with that four percent interest rate. Um, if you're just joining the stream, really appreciate if you like and share the stream. Looks like we have a question in from our uh, comments here. Kevin Stamen, do you guys fix grass destroyed by snow plows? Absolutely. <laughs> we have a machine called a power seeder. It injects grass seed into the soil. Perfect germination. Nine out of every ten seeds germinates. It's a beautiful thing. I've seen every seeding process. Hydro seeding, going out there and throwing seed down. You know, our power seating is guaranteed. We guarantee it every time and always guarantee our power seating. So that's a great question from Kevin Stamen. Thanks so much for asking it. Is there any real estate related questions? Uh, there's no real estate related questions on, guys. in there right You're now. Killing if, us. if you guys have any real estate questions for the two gurus from Keller Williams North, right? Keller East. Williams East. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Keller okay. Williams East. <clears throat> It's all good. He's the guys you want to talk to. Nobody's perfect. So Fritz, uh, tell me about the veterans. The because when I was when I was looking at buying a property, uh, there's many different loan uh, options out there, right? So and they were saying there's a, a veteran program. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, definitely. So you know, there's there's conventional, obviously. There's FHA. There's real development. There's there's tons of different ways you can go. Um, financing wise with different down payments um, with veterans though it's zero down zero PMI so meaning you can come to closing table with zero percent down uh, you will not pay any PMI so that being said if we can do the deal right you can ask for seller concessions and you can literally come to the closing table with zero money out of your pocket Really? Yep. So no money. You're you're moving into a house. Is there a is there a limit on home value with that program, or is it? Yeah, it's the uh, they just upped it um, to four hundred and sixteen thousand. I think it is four hundred and sixteen thousand. So anywhere 000. from you know if if you're a veteran in the area, it's uh, lenders love veterans. They absolutely love it. Lenders love veterans. Um, a lot of people love to help veterans, believe it or not. I love veterans. Yeah, I mean, if you don't like veterans... Thank you for serving. Then, uh, hey, you're welcome. Thank you for serving, Fritz. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess let's just pause the show and, and stop there. You know, we love our veterans as well. We all love our veterans. If you got and, a veteran you know, give them a big... And, and support our troops. Come on, bring it in, buddy. That is true, Fritz. Thank you so much for your service yeah. to the country. No problem. And uh, he's the man for veteran... Uh, veteran loans, he can hook you up. He knows it because he is one. Yep. So there's not a better guy than Fritz to take care of that for you. Yeah, and I mean, in case you guys are wondering, I, United States Marine Corps veteran, did five years, sergeant in the Marine Corps. I flew UAVs in the Marine Corps, did two deployments in Afghanistan. So, um, you know, I, I've lived it, I've done it, I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. So, 
you know, I'm back now and uh, just trying to help people and mostly help veterans. Really, really want to help veterans. You know, it's we can connect on a on a different level than most most people. And uh, yeah, well, we we do appreciate your service. Do you guys have any any uh, interesting things going on in your business right now? And any new vibrant things that you guys didn't expect? What happened six months ago? Any new kind of things going on? Marketing is doing very well. Marketing? Marketing, yeah. Got a, a big system for marketing to help people uh, get the most exposure for their home. So when you do go to sell, the more the more views you're getting, it's like currency. Um, it's going to bring more buyers to the house. And then the goal is to get it uh, there, get it sold for more. It's one right. of the goals. And what about on the buyer's representative side? I mean, are there any cool things that you guys are doing to list the houses, to sell the houses, get top dollar for your customers? What are the, some of the new things besides just baking some cookies at an open house? So your average agent is going to, they're going to come over, they're going to sit down, maybe do a listing presentation, maybe not, um, and stick a sign in your yard and hope that the house sells. Uh, you know, at Keller Williams in general, we're both Keller Williams agents. We like to go the extra mile. So, you know, we're gonna come over, do an interview process, show you our listing presentations. We're gonna go through a tour of your house, give you helps, give you steps to, you know, tips to make your home seem better and look better, so that it looks more attractive to a buyer, and it'll feel bigger, it'll look bigger in pictures, professional pictures. You know, most of the time depends on the home where it's at how, you know, what the condition of the home is, stuff like that, um, you know, and send out just listed cards, just listed posters, go, if it's in a neighborhood, go hit some doors in the neighborhood, saying, hey, you know, bam, 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 just want to let you know, just listed your neighbor's house for X amount of dollars, if you guys know someone who's living in the neighbor, or, you know, who doesn't live in the neighborhood, who wants to live in this neighborhood, put them in contact with me, and, you know, let's make them your neighbor, you know, when when your neighbor lists your lists their house, or when you list your house, and or your neighbor lists their house, it's the perfect time for you to pick your neighbors. So you know, if you have friends that you want to be your neighbors, there's your opportunity right there. That's a a great tip. Great tip. Very tangible results too that you can take with you should you ever be selling your home. Um, near in the near future, you definitely have two great real estate agents here that you could call. And help you out with that anytime you want. Uh, Tyler, how, how do people get in touch with you? Uh, you can either call me, 616-540-4606, or go to Facebook. You can message me. Um, it's Facebook backslash Jackson Proper. Email me, tj at grar.com. Um, and then if you want to see your home value, if you're thinking of selling, just go to myhomevaluegr.com. Again, myhomevaluegr.com awesome. and that will give you a kind of an estimated sales price what i have noticed too with some of these algorithms is they're they're behind they're lagging if if they're not accurate you might just want to add 10 percent to your house because um, i'm just seeing they're not keeping up with when you say habits. algorithms you mean so it's estimate I like his estimate. Um, what happens is they, they're pulling data. Great question. I, yeah, I have, you know, when it comes to that stuff. I, I run into it a lot. You don't want to rely on, there's, you can't replace a good agent um, with looking online at your home price because there's a lot of factors you can't include when looking at, say, um, Zillow's estimate or Truly or any of those sites um, because the one thing you got to consider is how, how they take the square footage and that, as I've understood, is they take all of your square footage, whereas a realtor, I look at above grade square footage and then factor in other things. So you just want to be careful taking your home price. If you were if you were to sell it for sale by owner, you just want to consider that Zillow might not be right. So if you're basing it off that price, you may be leaving a lot of money on the table. So great, great, great tip on the on the algorithms and computer programs. How do you do it in this digital age? You know, it seems things are always moving faster, always going quicker. On that note, with algorithms and computers and digital, we are completely revolutionizing the way we give our customers quotes. It used to be you call the office, you hope they call you back, then they send out a technician, which could be a two or three day process, well, let's get your program started now. Let's take time out of the equation now. Let's get your lawn green, thick, and weed-free now. Why add time to the equation? 
You know, time is a limited resource, and we value your time. That's why when you call our office, your phone call will be picked up in the first ring. We'll measure your property. We'll get your square footage, and we'll give you a price to get your lawn program started today. And on your first treatment, that's when you do your detailed health report and let you know what additional It's like service. seeing a doctor. It is. It is. It really is. Because <laughs> Wait, here's is it the lawn doctor? The lawn doctor. The lawn doctor. <laughs> I can even call him the lawn nurse here shortly. And it will, we'll, we'll bring in the lawn nurse and do your vital signs and everything like that. But with the lawn doctor, we value your time. We value our customers. And we want to help you out. We want to get this started now, not later. You know, And we make it a point to get it started now. All lawns need fertilizer and weed control. All lawns they need, need love. All lawns That's need love. Need. All humans need to eat food. All humans need water to live. And your lawn needs fertilizer and weed control to be green thick and weed free. Again, if you need a, a quote for the spring, text Green Grass to two four five eight seven. Again, that's Green Grass to two four five eight seven. Or call our offices right now at six one six two eight one. 7109, my lovely mother's waiting to take your phone call and get you on our schedule for the spring. And closing up the show, we're going to wrap this up here. We're going to have some major takeaways for you. Fritz told us, change out your mailbox. Get a new mailbox. Get that thing looking shiny. Appearance, outside appearance, is all what it's about. It's perceived value. It's aesthetic value of your home. Get a new mailbox. Wash the side of the house. Edge the lawn. Please. Make your lawn have no weeds. Make it green. It, you'd be surprised at how quick we can turn around a lawn from a weed-infested lawn to a clear one. It only takes a few applications, just enough time for you to get maximum value as you sell your house. So in, in, in closing, here's some more takeaways for you. You've got the mailbox. Make sure it's washed. Make sure your lawn's edged. Make sure all those little details are there so you get top dollar for your house when you sell it so you can be eating it at, at, uh, at Old Cygnus at the top, eating, eat, eating the fillets. The cel celebratory. The, yeah. the, the celebratory uh, dinner. You dinner. can go, you can go uh, get some steaks at Ruth Chris. Get, get, some, get some steaks at Ruth Chris. Who doesn't like that, right? Scott Van Dyke, thanks for joining. Harold and Tracy Tamburo from New Jersey. Thanks for joining. Thanks. Becky Sue Barrett, thank you for joining. William P. L. Wood in New Jersey, we love you. Sending love from Michigan. Thank you Thanks, so Willie. much for joining. If you could like and share this stream, I would appreciate it. My family would appreciate it. Tyler would appreciate it. Fritz would appreciate it. Everybody in the world would appreciate it if you could like and share the stream because we love you and we love our customers. As always, have a great day. Keep your lawn green, thick, and weed-free. I want to help you out. I want to make it green. I want to make it thick, and I want to make it weed-free. And I don't think I mentioned it in this episode. We'll kill your mosquitoes, too. Oh, you did. Bam! I forgot to say that. You, I better, forgot. you better talk about your mosquitoes, Oh, dude, bro. dude. I can't stand mosquitoes. Dude, the, the mosquito control is awesome. It's guaranteed. We come every 30 to 40 days, and... We, it gets fleas, ticks, What's that cost? mosquitoes, spiders, no seams. Uh, oh, typical. Those, dude, no seams are by far the worst. Dude, they're worst. They are terrible because they're small. You can't see them, and then you're itching your head, and you're like, "Where would they go, There's man? Where would they go?" And I can't find them. And then you wake up the next day, and, and you think a spider bit you, but no, it's the no seams. They got gotcha. you. They got gotcha. you. So, if. If you do need mosquito control, fertilization and weed control, we can hook you up. We can take care of you. Tyler can take care of you. Fritz can take care of you for your houses. I'm here, I'm here to help. Yeah, and I mean, on that note, thank you for the opportunity to be on the show. I agree. Yeah, Fritz, I, I, I forgot to come back to you on the, um, <clears throat> how do people follow you, oh, how do people find oh, you? Yeah, um, so add me on Facebook, Fritz Ball is my personal page. Uh, my realtor page, Fritz Ball, Keller Williams, GR, Fritz Ball Realtor, Keller Williams, GR. Instagram, uh, Fritz Ball underscore KW. Uh, add me on LinkedIn, Fritz Ball. sick. Instagram's where it's at. Instagram is huge. IG um, game strong. You know, Facebook and Instagram is, is the next, next level of advertising marketing. So follow me on Facebook, add me on Instagram. Um, 
Yeah, give me a call, 616-813-3010. My phone number, call me, text me, Facebook, message me anytime. I don't care. And my website is fritzballrealty.com. So we got Fritzball, Tyler Jackson, and I'm Kendall Hines, the man with the plan to keep your lawn green, thick, and weed free, and we'll kill your mosquitoes too. We'll see you next week, Friday, for the next episode of Lawn Green. We love you.